it's really important to understand dramatic pathology, pathology in general, it's an entirely different language. And so for us, for dramatic pathologists, we have to incorporate the clinical information because that is how you make the best diagnosis. So we understand the clinical terminology, that's what we do, right? But it's really not common for dermatology providers to understand fully the, the pathologic terms, right? So it's so vital to just take that extra you know, effort to just kind of understand some of the key terms. And this is why I have loved doing this conference is that I'm trying to kind of translate and give that information to dermatology providers that have not really seen it prior. And so the key ones that I have always found that I come back to that are so problematic spongiotic dermatitis, right? Um, and then some of the, the key terms that we use and how we describe some you know, diagnoses, we use terminology that maybe you don't understand, like why, does, why do they say consistent with in, or suggestive of or compatible with? There's a totally different language that we use and I think just doing a couple of extra you know, talks here and there to try and get the providers to understand what we're talking about is really key. And I haven't seen that in any other conference. You know, so I'm glad that we're able to do that and kind of translate what that report is talking about. Key ones though are psoriasiform dermatitis, spongiotic dermatitis, because this is a reaction pattern. And so a lot of people are expecting an answer. But this is not a lab generated, you know, computer generated test, right? This is a very subjective sort of diagnosis. So kind of understanding what that means and why we use this terminology is key. That's the biggest lesson to take away from it.